What if we as a nation came to realize that the quest for empire eventually destroys all great nations? Hey, welcome back everyone. I am Matt Larson and earlier this week a home was raided after a father posted a photo of his son holding a 22 caliber assault rifle. Now I say assault rifle because it has the looks of an assault weapon. Uh, to some people, the untrained eye and people that just don't know how to handle firearms and have handled firearms in the past, uh, some pictures of certain guns can look scary to them. And when this photo was posted on Facebook, it did not take long for the Department of Children and Family Services to receive a call on their child abuse hotline. Now, to me, that seems ridiculous that just because a child that is holding a firearm the correct way with the finger off the trigger, uh, somebody would call into Child Protective Services basically and say that this guy needs to have his child removed from his custody. Uh, now just a little background on the father of the son uh, before I actually go into the story a little bit deeper. The father is a firearms instructor for the NRA. Uh, he is NRA range safety uh, officer as well and also he is a hunting instructor uh, for the state of New Jersey. I think he has probably trained his son in the proper ways of handling firearms. And just in case you weren't sure that he trained him, uh, his son just got his hunting license and passed the state of New Jersey's hunting safety course. So even more, he received the training. His father didn't just give his son uh, some firearm and be like, hey, hold this guy, <laughs> and expect him to just handle the firearm in a non-safe manner. Everything that was taking place was done safely and yet still the state of New Jersey said they have protocol that they have to follow up on every single call that comes into this hotline. So basically you can just be that big of a nuisance if you want and harass your neighbors say if your neighbors are pro Second Amendment. You could go and harass your neighbors until who knows maybe they move maybe they just give up guns but it's not right. But back to the main story. Basically, the wife sent her husband a text message saying what was going on, that the Department of Children and Family was at their front door, along with the police, saying that they want to come in, they want to inspect inside the safe, they want to see all the father's guns. She didn't let him in. The father raced home as fast as possible, called their lawyer on the way there, basically put the lawyer on speakerphone, and the lawyer said, do you have a warrant? The officer said no. The lawyer said, you know what? We're not letting you in. We're absolutely not letting you in. We have a Fourth Amendment, and until you come back with a search warrant, step back. Go home. Leave us alone. Stop harassing us. So that was good that the NRA instructor, the father of the son, uh, was a quick thinker and got the law on his side and backed him up with his Fourth Amendment. They never came back. They left him alone. But my question to you is, do you think that there should be protocol on the books that every single tip that is called in on stuff like this needs to be investigated? Have the cops come raid your home, try to get inside, and look at your firearms? To me, that seems excessive. But leave your answer in a text or video response down below. But for now, I ask that you guys please thumbs up this video, share it with friends and family. If you're new to my videos, make sure you click that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the current political news. As always, I'm Matt Larson. Go Ron Paul. Peace.